Today's video is about the foramen of the skull and what passes through them. First, we're going to start with norma frontalis. Ye, as the name implies, skull ki front side hoti hai. We're going to begin with the orbital cavity and discuss the orbital openings. Ye jo aapko upar ki taraf nazar aare, this is the superior orbital fissure. A lot of stuff passes through it. So, asani ke liye, jo fifth cranial nerve hai, the trigeminal nerve that has three divisions, unme se the first one, the ophthalmic nerve, that passes through the superior orbital fissure. Uski further three branches hain, frontal, lacrimal and nasociliary. Ye tino isme se jati hain. Iske baad trochlear nerve, which is the cranial nerve 4, or abducens nerve, which is the cranial nerve 6, b isme se pass karti hain. Or oculomotor nerve, which is the cranial nerve 3, ki superior or inferior branches bhi isme se pass karti hain. So to summarize, the nerves passing through the superior orbital fissure are cranial nerves 3, 4, 6, and fifth ki first division, that is the ophthalmic nerve. When we talk about the vessels, the superior and inferior ophthalmic veins and the recurrent meningeal branch of the ophthalmic artery passes through the superior orbital fissure. This is the inferior orbital fissure. Is me se the zygomatic branch of the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve pass karti hai. Iske alawa the orbital branches of the pterygopalatine ganglion bhi isme se pass karte hain. Ye isliye hota hai because this is the pterygopalatine fossa and it has a connection with the inferior orbital fissure. Iske alawa is me se the infraorbital nerves and vessels bhi pass karti hain. Acha, ab you can see the nasolacrimal canal. Is me se nasolacrimal duct pass karti hai. In this region, there are posterior and anterior ethmoidal foramina. The anterior ethmoidal foramina transmits the anterior ethmoidal artery vein and nerve, and the posterior ethmoidal foramina transmits the posterior ethmoidal artery and vein. This is the optic foramina or canal. This is the optic nerve, which is the cranial nerve 2 or ophthalmic artery. Pass karte now, let's come to the supraorbital foramen. This is the area, mein hota hai. and this is superior to the orbital cavity. This is the supraorbital foramen. Kehte this is also called the supraorbital notch and this transmits the supraorbital nerve and vessels. This is the infraorbital foramen and this transmits the infraorbital nerve and vessels. In this area mein we have the zygomatic facial foramen and it transmits the zygomatic facial nerve. Mental foramen bandible mein hota hai. It is this foramen and it transmits the mental nerve and vessels. Diagram mein dekhe to this is the supraorbital uh, foramen or notch. This is the infraorbital foramen and this is the mental foramen and this is the zygomatic facial foramen. Uh, now let's see the orbital cavity. Orbital cavity mein here we have the superior orbital fissure, the inferior orbital fissure, the optic canal, posterior and anterior ethmoidal foramen or uh, this is the infraorbital groove. Just we say infraorbital nerves and vessels pass karti hai, and then they come out of the infraorbital foramen. Now let's come to the norma verticalis. I don't have the calvaria, so let's do diagram. Se karte hai. This is the coronal suture, this is the sagittal suture, and this is the lambdoid suture. This is bregma and this is lambda. Posteriorly, on either side of the sagittal suture, we have the parietal foramen. This is a misery vein transmit. In normal occipitalis, mein, we have the mastoid foramen. This transmits an emissary vein and the meningeal branch of the occipital artery. Normal atratus mein, this is the pterygo maxillary fissure and it transmits the posterior superior alveolar nerve, a branch of the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve and terminal branches of the maxillary artery. This is the mastoid process and this is the tympanic plate and this is the tympanomastoid fissure and it transmits the auricular branch of the vagus nerve which is the 10th cranial nerve. Iske alawa, I wanted to mention ke on the anteromedial surface of the zygomatic bone, this is the zygomatic bone zygomaticotemporal foramen hota hai and that transmits the zygomaticotemporal nerve and vessels. Now let's discuss the norma basalis. This is the incisor fossa and it transmits the nasopalatine nerve and sphenopalatine vessels. This is the greater palatine foramen and it transmits the greater palatine nerve and vessels. This is the lesser palatine foramina and they transmit the lesser palatine nerve and vessels. This is the foramen lacrum and it transmits the greater petrosal nerve. This is the foramen ovale which transmits the lesser petrosal nerve, the mandibular nerve and the accessory meningeal artery. This is the foramen spinosum and it transmits the middle meningeal vessels and meningeal branch of the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. 
This is the carotid canal and it transmits the internal carotid artery and carotid autonomic plexus. This is the stylomastoid foramen and it transmits the facial nerve. This is the jugular fossa and this is the jugular foramen and it transmits the glossopharyngeal nerve which is the 9th cranial nerve, the vagus nerve which is the 10th cranial nerve, the accessory nerve which is the 11th cranial nerve and the internal jugular vein. This is the foramen magnum which transmits the medulla oblongata, the vertebral arteries and venous plexus and spinal roots of accessory nerves. The hypoglossal canal which transmits the hypoglossal nerve which is the 12th cranial nerve is seen here. So let me just pass this through. This is the hypoglossal canal. Now let's look at the diagram of Norma Bazalis. This is the incisor fossa. This is the greater palatine foramen. These are the lesser palatine foramina. This is the foramen ovale. This is the foramen spinosum. This is the foramen lacrum. This is the carotid canal. This is the jugular fossa. This is the stylomastoid foramen. Here we have the hypoglossal canal. This is the foramen magnum. This is the mastoid foramen. Now let's come to the interior of the skull. This is the foramen cecum and it transmits an emissary vein. These are the foramen of the cribriform plate and they transmit the olfactory nerve. This is the superior orbital fissure, which we transmissions we have already discussed. This is the optic canal which transmits the optic nerve, which is the second cranial nerve and the ophthalmic artery. This is the foramen rotundum, which transmits the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve. This is the foramen ovale. We have discussed this in Norma Bizalis. This is foramen spinosum. We have also discussed this. This is the foramen lacrum and this is the carotid canal. This is the internal acoustic meatus and it transmits the facial nerve, which is the cranial nerve 7, the vestibulocochlear nerve, which is the 8th cranial nerve, and the labyrinthine artery. This is the opening of the mastoid foramen. It opens it to the sigmoid sinus. This is the jugular foramen, and this is foramen magnum, and this is the hypoglossal canal. You can also see this opening here. This is the opening of vestibular aqueduct and it transmits the endolymphatic duct. Now let's look at the diagram of the interior of the skull. This is the foramen cecum. The, these are the foramen of the cribriform plate. This is the optic canal. This is the superior orbital fissure. This is the foramen rotundum. This is the foramen ovale. This is the foramen spinosum. This is the foramen lacrum. This is the carotid canal. This is the internal acoustic meatus. This is the opening of vestibular aqueduct. This is the jugular foramen. This is the hypoglossal canal. This is the foramen magnum. And this is the mastoid foramen. I also wanted to mention that on the interior surface of the mandible, we also have this uh, mandibular foramen. And it actually forms a canal which opens on the outer surface as the mental foramen. And it may say inferior alveolar nerve, vein or artery pass out here. Yeah, you can see this is the mandibular foramen and it is forming a canal and on the outer surface it is opening into the mental foramen.